Hi Year 12, in this video we're going to look at part B of question 24 from the 2019 Software Design and Development HSC exam. This question's worth three marks. In part A, uh, we looked at this algorithm and we had to do a desk check on this algorithm. Uh, in this part, part B, um, we're going to have to explain how we can simplify uh, this code um, and still produce the same output. So let's read through part B. The logic of the code on the previous page is correct. So the logic of this code here is correct and, and working fine. Explain how the code can be simplified by removing some lines and modifying others and still produce the same output. Refer to line numbers in your answer. There is no need to rewrite the complete code. So if we have a look at the algorithm, there are some lines of code here that are completely unnecessary so they can be removed altogether uh, and some lines that can be changed to be improved. So um, we get uh, line one, we have x equals one, then we get y, and then in this repeat until loop, we keep setting z to y. All right, so uh, z just keeps getting set back to y, which we have up here on line two. So there's no need to keep setting z to y. So we can remove line four altogether. And instead of having line four, uh, all we do is change line two to get Z instead of get Y. Okay. Now, if we move on, um, coming up to line six, we could add two to X in one statement rather than two separate additions. If we have a look at line six, uh, we increase X by one. So we have X equals X plus one. But then down here on uh, line 11, we increase uh, X again by one. So we can actually add two to X in one statement rather than two separate addition operations. So therefore change line six to x equals x plus 2. Alright, and then we can remove line 11. Alright, so that's gone now. But if we remove our line 11 and change line 6 to x equals x plus 2, we're going to need to remember line 1 should change from x equals 1 to x equals zero instead. Okay. Um, also, there's no need to recheck if x is less than eight on line seven, um, because we already know um, that x is going to be less than eight as before that, because before that we check if x is less than seven. So if, if x is less than seven, then it's definitely going to be less than eight. Okay. So we can actually remove lines seven to nine, or line seven and nine, and we would just have um, print x multiplied by z um, without that being inside an if statement. So that could just be uh, unindented over there, move to the left a little bit. And that's it. So um, that's how we can simplify the logic in this code. Um, some lines removed and then some lines just uh, modified a little bit to uh, improve that code and simplify it a little bit.